Hi everyone, this is Andrew Parr and in this video I want to share with you uh, the settings you need to change in order to stop a computer from acting pesky and waking itself up if you ever put it into a hibernate or a sleep state and you come back and the thing's purring away because it's woken itself up and it's it's doing its own thing even though you told it to go to sleep. Um, now the reason this happens is there's often devices which we attach to our computer and Windows by default will allow these devices to wake the device up out of uh, either hibernation or sleep if it deems possible. Now I'm going to show you the quick way of a, firstly finding out what devices are the ones that could be causing this and secondly how to then change them so you can stop them from having the ability of waking a computer up out of the hibernate mode. So to begin with the first thing you need to do is work out just what it is, what, what device is, is uh, causing the machine to wake up. Now the quickest way to do this is open up your Windows menu and just type CMD which is short for command. Um, command prompt I should say. So it'll open up a window like this. Now in this window all you need to do is you type power cfg power config space minus device query because that's what we're doing and the thing we want to know is we want to find out what's armed to wake up the system. If you press enter it'll go back and it's come back with four different things. The first one is a network card and then I have a mouse and then I have some keyboard devices. So now that we know what devices are able to wake the machine up, what, what we have to do is, of course, go in and change their ability to wake the machine up. So that way, when I put it to hibernate and I come back, it'll safely be hibernating. Um, quite often, I'll hibernate my, my computer at night time, coming in the morning, and of course, it's been running since 2 in the morning. Um, so the way that you now turn these devices off is you go back into your control panel. Now, there's a couple of different ways you can do it, but your control panel's often the... Uh, the quickest way to get to the device is it'll open up something that looks very similar to this. Uh, if it looks different for you, you may see what's called large icons or category. So if you have a category view, you simply click the drop down and change that to small icons so you can see all of the goodies that the computer has for you. So what we want to do, you'd think by nature you'd want to go to power options, but if you go into that, you'll get to the wrong things. So we need to go to device manager. We want to change some of the particular settings to do with the hardware that's on our machine. So the first thing we do, so what you do in this device manager list is you look down for the different categories of devices that would match what's on our little um, command prompt list here. So to start with, we'll look for the um, HID compliant mouse. So we go down to mice and other pointing devices, and you'll see that I've got two mice listed there. Now on um, my computer, you can't see this, but it only has one mouse connected. Uh, often, sometimes these different devices can be things like... Um, Bluetooth, uh, not Bluetooth, but wireless um, transmitters and things like this. So you select one of them, right click, go down to properties, and you'll see along the top you've got general, driver, details, and events. If the, you've only got those four, you can hit cancel because that's not the one you want. Because we know that this device is the one that's waking the machine up, one of these two is going to be our culprit. So we're going to go into our second one, go down to properties, and you'll notice that this one has general driver details events like the other one, but it also has this power management. Go into power management and uncheck allow this device to wake the computer. Now hit OK. And it's as simple as that. So now if we go back to our command prompt and we run that uh, control, uh, that command again, you'll notice that the mouse has now disappeared. And it's just this trial and error process where you go through and find each device, like I have four, four keyboard devices here, but only one of them uh, well, in this case, there's two of them that are causing the wake up or the power issue. So here's power management, uncheck that, hit OK, go down to the next one, and that doesn't have the power management, so I can just cancel out, go to the next one, oh, this one has it, uncheck that, hit OK, and just to show you, if I go into properties here, there will be no power management, and there isn't. So now if we run this again, we're left with nothing but the uh, the network card in this case. That's a network. The family controller is a um, a network card, so that's a wake up via LAN, which is not a feature that I particularly care for. So if we go into network adapters, we can go down to the one that looks like the culprit, hit properties, and you've got power management over here. Allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. That's okay. That's great. I don't mind that. If I'm not using it, save some power. Great. Allow the, this, this device to wake up the computer. I don't really want that. Just hit uncheck, OK, and that's it. So now when you do this list, it'll come back with none. And once you have none, when you put your computer into Hibernate, 
you can rest assured the little sucker will stay there until you come back and turn it on with the power button. I hope this video has been help and if so leave some comments below, click like, tell all your friends or more importantly rejoice that you now have a computer doing exactly what it's supposed to do and staying in hibernation. I hope this video has helped and have a great day.